What's up guys? Today we're modifying my BMW M3 Touring. First things first, I need to figure out if the new rims and tires can fit into the back of this to bring them to the shop or if I'm going to have to go there, back, there, back. Let's test the space in the M3 Touring. First things first, we're going to have to put the seats down of course. One rim, two, there we go. This looks like we should be fine actually. Don't speak too soon Seb. And take it away! Let's go. Look at this. Completely full passenger seat, which I have covered, if you're wondering. And in here. Ta-da! Right, let's go. So I had to go pick up a friend with suitcases as well, but we've somehow made it work. Yep. You have a little bit of a situation on your lap. <laughs> but you know what? It puts in context how wide the tires are. Because when you see them on the car, they look tiny. Yeah, now when you see it here, all of a sudden you're like, oh, it's quite big. <laughs> now it's the easy part, getting everything out. Getting it in is tricky, getting it out is the easier part. Oh, look at the difference between the rear tire and the front tire. So I've opted for some pretty swanky Pirellis. So we've gone P0, of course. I'm really excited to get these on the car as well. The tires are slightly different, not just the rims. Here are the rims. We can start to get these out. HRE wheels. Now, they're... Uh, what they call flow form wheels. They're flow form wheels. Um, I think they're gonna look pretty cool. I haven't actually opened one of these boxes yet, even though they arrived a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to just like see them with you guys in real time for the first time. God, it feels endless, more tires. Look at all this stuff that we managed to fit. See how practical this car is? This should be the last time we see the car with its original black wheels. Now these are actually optional rims. Uh, they look awesome, and the fitment behind, they're 20 inch behind, the fitment is amazing, but on the front, the fitment isn't great, I find. They're 19 inch in the front, so we decided to go 20 inch in the front and keep the 20 inch in the back, so it should fill out the wheel arch a bit more in the front right there. Now, they've just got in, look, they've just opened one of the rims for the first time, and look at this. First time ever that I see one. Obviously, this blue part is just plastic protection. These are the HRE F8, uh, FF28 sorry, wheels, finished in a gold gloss color, and I think they're gonna look incredible. So basically, the reason I chose these is to add a little bit of color to the exterior of the car, but also to fill out that wheel gap a bit more, and I think the design is insane. Very actually similar to the, the BMW design, in terms of, you know, I mean, little differences, of course, but it's still the same ethos, and I think will just look crazy. I've also chosen gloss because I've been told, Mr. Paul Wallace from Supercars of London has always told me, if you have matte paint, you need gloss rims. If you have um, uh, gloss paint, you need matte rims. So you're always inverse. So here it's gloss, even though they're very dirty. They were gloss black. Um, so I've gone gloss gold to complement the matte PPF. Don't know if that makes sense, but we're going to give it a go, see how it looks. Let's see how they look. We've taken the original ones off. This is going to look sick. I was worried it would look weird with the red calipers, but actually that looks really cool with, um, with the red. It looks very CSL type. I thought maybe we'd, we'd keep the um, 50th anniversary logos because those were an option, um, but actually it's a different size. So HRE supply the rims with their, obviously their center cap right here, which is finished all black with no colors on it, which is nice because that goes with the look of the car. So the center cap is a different size to the original BMW one, but basically that's the center cap that we're gonna have on, uh, on the car. So yeah, that's why if you're wondering why we no longer have the 50th anniversary logos, it's because, as you can tell, not the same size. Putting the tires on now, so the Pirelli, the P0s, on the rim, so we're gonna be able to see the first one fully mounted with the tire on the car. Now the blue plastic around is to protect the rim when you're putting the new tires on like this. As you can tell, all the necessary machinery here at Stars MC. And then finally, we're gonna be able to get it on. They also cleaned the brake calipers. So the brake calipers are all spotless now, which is nice. Look guys, the rear tire weirdly is more used than the front tire. Hmm, how odd. How to have furniture yeah. in your car, yeah. I have no idea how that happened. Very strange. Oh, We're finally getting the first rev on 
Oh, it looks so cool. I was just on a call and then I saw that they were starting to put it on. How sick does that look? That looks awesome. Now, obviously it's hard to imagine with this huge gap, once we put the car down, we'll see it better and see how much more it fills out uh, the front. But yeah, that looks awesome. I love the low profile of the Pirelli P0s as well. You don't have a huge tire kind of strangling the rim too much. So yeah, I think that looks awesome with the red calipers. You like it? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, no, it's amazing. It looks sick. So guys, the second rim has just gone on now. It's hard to imagine right now what it will look like, but obviously the front is where there will be the biggest change because that extra inch is going to really fill out that gap more. Then we're moving on to the rear tires where it will just be a different design. There's a beautiful Urus which has just arrived behind us right there with orange brake calipers, green paint and full carbon pack. These are the original wheels and rims right there. Look at that. We're going to have to fit that in the boot after. See, practical car, you can bring your rims, your tires, your everything to have it all changed and then drive your old ones back to leave them in the garage. How convenient. And look how sick that looks. Now, still, we need to wait for it to be lowered to get a real good idea but I think it's going to look so sick. I'm also, I think what we're going to do is take the car and go wash it, clean it after this, and then bring it to like a proper viewpoint or parking where we can actually properly see the new look. We've just put the car down. Look at this. That is unreal. It looks so much, it just stands out so much more now. Oh yes. Oh, I am happy. Let's go see the other side. Oh, that's so sick with the sunlight hitting this side. Look at that. So we are doing now the force reset on the tire pressure. So, oh, oh it's just stopped. So oh, I need to keep driving. It was at 70%. And basically when you change the rims or the tires, it will all go through the system here. Just ask you, would you like to reset your tire pressure monitoring system? Yes. And then hopefully soon we should get good tire pressures fingers crossed oh you can hear the tires kind of going around in the back over there moving. yeah it's all moving <laughs> anyways we've protected <laughs> everything by the way i can see the comments already of earlier we didn't protect like this for the carbon the back of the carbon seats have been ppf'd so they were protected anyways all right guys it's done and look it's all working just fine amazing it's crazy actually how easy that was i don't want to speak too soon but tpms systems working fine um, rims look awesome. We're taking the car for a car wash and then we're going to take it out to a spot where we can actually properly have a look at this new look. Just arrived at the car wash place, which is in a car park, which was good but stressful because I was also like, don't <laughs> ruin one of your rims 10 minutes after putting them on. But look at that. I feel like I'm just going to stare at this car for the next couple of days. That, it's crazy how much the rims and the color and the design can change. But that, I know this is going to divide opinions. But uh, yeah, anyways, I, I really like it. I love also the red calipers and the wink that that is to the red interior. I think it looks nice and sporty. So let's give the whole car a wash, get it all spotless, and then take it outside again because the color really comes out in the sun. Okay, guys, this is the moment. Look at that. How sick does that look? As I said, I know it's going to divide opinions. I am so pleased with the way this has come out. It's actually come out better than I thought it would. I, it's like the red interior. I wasn't convinced when specking the car that the red interior would actually look good in the flesh, but it came out really well. And now with these rims, I mean, a huge thank you to HRE who also, you know, helped me pick the design and everything. And look at the details, the HRE engraved there on these rims, the FF28 Flowform rims. These are, these are just awesome. I mean, honestly, such a cool design. And the gold goes from being like a really bright, poignant gold to a dark bronze, depending on the light. It's really nice. So in the car park, it was completely different to out here. The car's now all nice and clean. And here it is from the front. Now the front actually feels like it could almost be a 21 or 22 inch rim because it, it still doesn't fill out the wheel arch as much as on the rear. But you don't want to go much bigger or else you're going to completely destroy the ride. But yeah, I am so, so happy. Let me know what you think down below. I think there are going to be people who either love it, people who hate it. I mean, my girlfriend, for example, much preferred the black rims, but uh, my brother-in-law, he absolutely adores the gold rims. So I'm already seeing it and the people are very close that, uh, yeah, some people love it, some people hate it. I loved the full black look. I mean, I do think it's amazing. That's why I'm keeping those rims, um, which were actually uh, an optional extra. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to keep those and maybe for resale, someone won't have the same taste as me but I'm, I'm pleased to have done this. It just adds something that makes the car feel that little bit extra special 
and personalized to the way I like it. So uh, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you aren't already and plenty more videos coming with the M3 Touring. We're just about getting there in the spec. See you next time. Bye-bye.